All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and start with um, a workflow on connect layout to field link. So we're gonna start here hopping into Trimble Connect. You can see I've created a project here. We've got our points in our model within um, folders here. So you can see I've got a TRB file that's got our, our model in it. Then we'll go into our points and we'll find the TFLX file. Um, the TFLX file is gonna contain all of your points, all your information as far as from the layout perspective. Um, this was all updated within 6.3 to get that TFLX file now kind of contains everything for us in addition to our TRB. So here within Trimble Connect, you can now see all of our layout points that we're going to be going out here and laying out out on site. Um, these show, you know, you can see the different controls, you can see the different points, any of the line work that's created as well, um, and then the model on, on top. So now we're going to go ahead and hop into our tablet here. We're gonna, this, so this will be, you're out in the field. We're gonna go ahead and connect up to Trimble Connect. And then we're gonna go ahead and start to pull and sync that project down. So go into project, we'll go into manage, and then we now hit the cloud icon on the left-hand side. And that's gonna take us into Trimble Connect. This is how we can access different projects, different models, different layout points. Um, everything from um, layout to scanning, you know, is going to be able to use this to import models or project data um, from Trimble Connect. You know, we really want to start utilizing this to um, reduce the amount of times we're sending models through USB. So you can see that TFLX came in as a points job, and we now have our TRB as well as a model. So you can see we'll hop into the project management tree. We can turn on the layout video, which is the TFLX file. And then if we go into the model, we'll turn on the TRB, which is that those that piping there in the center for that background drawing. So now you can see we've taken this layout project from Trimble Connect. We have brought it into the tablet and we've imported it in using no emails or USBs. And now we can go and start doing layout. So this is just a quick sped up device setup. So we're going in, connecting to the RI, leveling out the instrument, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do a typical resection. We're just gonna select two control points, set up the instrument, and then go ahead and transition into laying out these points. And now that our device is fully set up here, we're gonna go ahead and start laying out these points out in the field. So you can see here, I've got my device set up. I'm gonna go into measure and layout. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start picking my points here and laying them out. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay out a couple of points within tolerance, and then I'll lay out a couple of points outside of tolerance. And this is gonna help us see the difference once we sync this data back to Trimble Connect, we can see what files were in tolerance and what were out of tolerance. And you guys will see, you know, my, uh, my surveying skills are a little bit on the, the, the raw side, um, but we'll, uh, we'll make it through here. So now we're laying out our third point that's intolerance, and then I'm gonna go ahead and lay out two more points that are outside of tolerance so that we can go ahead and show the, show the points that are not going to be within our tolerance while we're out in the field. So we'll go ahead and measure these two out of tolerance, and you'll see those differences here once we bring that data back to Trimble Connect. And now that we've collected our five points here with the um, with the prism pole, we're now going to go in and we're actually going to collect a couple extra points out in the field um, using the laser and the camera system on the RI. 
Um, one thing you will notice here once we hop into the, the video stream of the RI is that there will be some some um, of the blurring with the vision. Um, the, the RI is on the latest firmware. Um, make sure you guys are all on the latest firmware. This will help with any blurring as the camera switches. Um, but just due to the um, the the OBS overlay when I was recording the video, um, that just induced a lot of this blurriness. Um, when you guys are out working in the field on the latest firmware versions, um, you should be getting the really clean, clear um, video feed. Um, all that blurriness is just kind of coming from doing the screen recording while I'm out here capturing these points. So you can see here, I'm going to capture a point, name it video point, and then save that. And then I'm going to go ahead and capture four points around this corner. You know, this could be if we were taking, um, you know, capturing a an in, embeds or any any types of you know sleeves or anything out on site you know that we're, we're trying to go and capture and bring back in as far as information um all of that can be done here you know through the collection uh, you can see i hit the the color button on the bottom right hand side that changes the color of the text of the images from blue yellow white or it turns the text off so you don't see the points after you collect them um, just a little tip and trick there for when you're collecting these points. So now that I've captured these points, you can see I have my three laid out points with intolerance, my two without a tolerance, and then you can see the four points that I captured up there in the square on the wall. Now from here, I'm going to go into my projects. And first, what I'm going to do is disconnect from my RI. In order to connect up to Trimble Connect to sync that back up, we need to make sure that we are connected to an internet connection. And of course, the RI connects through Wi-Fi, so we need to make sure we disconnect from the RI first. So now that I'm connected to the internet, I'm going to go to Account Details. That will log me into Trimble Connect, and it will notice that I have Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to go into Projects manage gonna hit the cloud icon find my layout connect workflow project hit save as I'm gonna go into Trimble connect now this will sync my project up into Trimble connect and save any of the layout progress that I had had out here in the field. So this is a great workflow for you guys to have your field guys sync that data, take it from the field back into Trimble Connect, and then we can use that to track progress. Now back in the office, going to the back on Trimble Connect for web, I'm gonna open that same project. You can see now the dates have been updated. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that same TRB file go to my points file click on that as well and then we're gonna go ahead and it looks like the PRB dis deselected so we'll go ahead and select that one we're gonna view that now in our 3d viewer so now due to us going syncing this out in the field and bringing it back I can now look at my points and I can see there are my three points that I collected with intolerance my two out of tolerance and my four points for the wall penetration that I captured up on the wall there. So this is a great way to be able to look, visually track, see how much you've laid out. And what we can also do is go into the data table tool, pull up the staked column as a column to view. We're gonna hit okay. And now if I look into all the layout points, I can see out of the design points, I have nine that have been staked out. I had four other ones that I staked on an earlier kind of trial run. And then I had the five more that I captured after the fact. So you can see all nine points there. You can see the other design points that are the ones that have not been laid out because they have a zero in the staked column. So we can do this to track from a metrics and a points perspective, then also a visual perspective of how much has been done. Thanks guys for watching. This is the Trimble Connect layout workflow. Have a good day.